What's up guys? So today I'm just gonna be doing like a voiceover style vlog. But anyways, um, this is Seattle and this is the hotel I'm staying at. And then we went to Public Market, which is basically a place for like farmer's market goods and really yummy food. And then I visited Starbucks and I don't know if you guys know this, but Starbucks actually originated from Seattle. And then we went to Proshki Proshki. If you go to Seattle, you have to come here. Basically, we got a cinnamon cardamom roll and a marzipan roll. So this is the Piroshki and I got the cinnamon cardamom and my mom got a marzipan. And basically, it's just a pastry with filling inside. And then here's a little glimpse of the farmer's market with all the fresh fruit. And then my mom and I also got some natural yogurt. We got the turmeric citrus, I think. It was very good. And there it is. And then of course we had to get some clam chowder. So we got the Manhattan and the classic clam chowder. Uh, this is the infamous New England clam chowder. And this is the Manhattan. And they both have clams and veggies in it. So then we visited UW and it's actually peak season right now so the flowers are blossoming and it looks beautiful, otherwise it's actually quite rainy. And now we're getting dinner at Elliot's along the ocean. This is a crispy Pacific rock cod, we got salmon and then we got uh, oysters and asparagus. So it's the morning after and we're getting donuts for breakfast because uh, health. Look how beautiful these are. Okay. So how are you doing? This is lemon poppy, um, apple fritter, chocolate cake with raspberry, and uh, peanut butter and chocolate. I got an Americano and she got a cappuccino. I also forgot to mention that the coffee was vegan and so were the donuts. So we're back at Public Market. This is the infamous gum wall. This is my piece right here. And now we're going to take a little tour cruise. And then we made it up the infamous Space Needle. This is fried oysters and chips and this is cod. Right now we are at the top of Smith's Tower which is open in 1914 and this is about 20 some stories up and this is just a view of the whole Seattle Providence and this is the state capital of Rhode Island. So my mom and I decided to go to the East Coast while my brother and dad went home. We made it to New Haven and we are on the Yale campus right now. This is what one of the Yale classrooms looks like. This is inside the Yale library. Surprisingly, students can actually have physical contact with old original books. So this is the old campus and this is where all the first year students live and every single building with a different colored rooftop is a different unit. So right now we're at this restaurant called Barracuda and this is in New Haven and they specialize in tapas and right now we're at the happy hour so these are just yuca, nachos, plantain and, and this is carne asada on uh, corn cakes. And 
and this mojito is amazing. It has coconut and mint lime. It's so good. So right now we are on the Brown campus. So those doors in the middle, they, don't, they only open twice a year. Once during opening day for freshmen and once during graduation. So at this point, we started getting ravenous. And when you get hungry, you don't make the best decision. So we went for donuts. Right now we're at Need Donuts and this is a passion fruit and this is a coffee. And our journey did not end there. We went to Boston. So as soon as we got to Boston, we went to Harvard and I was so surprised by the sheer amount of bricks I saw. Something about walking on this campus truly made me feel like I had a purpose-driven mission to end this unscrupulous society. After miles of walking, our tummies started to rumble, so we ended up at the Quincy Market, ranging from whitewashed sushi to greasy lobster rolls to super lactose intolerant mac and cheese. I come together. I come together. So we finished our lobster rolls and clam chowder. I also got some sushi and bought some sweatpants and something from Uniqlo. This is our hotel. This is called Omni Parker House and apparently it is historical and a lot of famous people stay here. We just had a famous guy right in front of us, but I have no idea who it is, so. We just finished a historical tour and this is called Little Italy and they have a bunch of little Italian restaurants and bakeries. So the last part of this video is merely going to be food. So if that bothers you for some peculiar reason, viewer discretion is advised. This is an example of a typical Italian bakery and the monstrosity of baked goods has already caused me to gain 5 pounds. And now we are in Cannoli Town ranging from Nutella, to pistachio, to Santa's axe. And then we migrated to the super cheap Italian pizzeria. So we got a slice of pizza and an antini, which is like a fried cheese ball. So good. So the arancini has some minced meat, some peas, and it's covered in fried cheese. And here's a clip of us struggling to cut a slice of pizza. Anyways, this pizza is only a $1.90 and it's whoppingly good. It has a kind of thicker crust with slightly less cheese and sauce, but you know, you're paying $1.90. And because that wasn't enough, we migrated yet again to a really popular Italian restaurant. And we spent way too much money on this pasta, but it was well worth it. So we got the rigatoni Sicilian and it basically it has a huge dollop of cheese and it has meat and tomato sauce and it's in this little um, casserole. Mm. Right now we're in Cafe Vittoria and we got a maple walnut ice cream and we just ordered a cappuccino. <laughs> So that's it my dudes, thank you so much for watching, I hope you had a really great time seeing my journey and get into all your dream colleges. Love you!